YouTubers of you. Today it is 70 degrees outside. On today is Monday, January 24th, so most likely this video will be out in a few weeks' time. A week or so. Right now I'm working on this wall here. I'm um I was gonna paint this white, but instead because this is my sticker wall for if I get any stickers along the road. This is my sticker wall right here. I'm not going to put it up in the front. and I'm just going to do one wall. So I'm using high strength uh, vinyl. I took the camera off because I was having to remove this entire wall, remove the, all the electrical, everything just to get this right. Because if I don't do it right, then it's going to look like crap and then eventually I'm going to have to redo it. And then whenever I have to redo it, it's going to be, where's my squeegee at? We don't need. So I'm learning, don't buy generic shit. And I'll tell you why. Water heater worked one time. Since then, it has sprung a leak in one of the pipes. Went down, leaked on the control system, stopped working. This has been used one time, one. So now I gotta spend the time of disabling, dis dismantling this whole thing because I have another one identical to it. And you bet your ass I'm gonna raise hell with Amazon to get a refund on it because they say non returnable. But if it doesn't work, well, that's gonna be the problem because. I'm going to raise hell with Amazon, because this is bullshit. I should be able to return it. So, my next goal is to, I have plumbing to put in. I could have gone to Lowe's and picked up these valves. These valves here are like $12 a piece at, uh, at Lowe's. I got both of these on Amazon for 8 bucks. I gotta get the power turned on in here so I can see what I'm doing. So 
So basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting the hot and the cold, putting in uh, valves so I can turn it off. So if there's ever a problem and I need to replace this, which most likely I will, that I'll be able to uh, turn off the valves and still have water in the bus. One of the things I didn't think about, I was like, I'll never have to replace this. All right. Okay, let me get this set up and I'll be back. Well, if I would have had the camera on, you would have seen that. I went over, turned the power on on the bus, forgot I disconnected this down there, forgot I had the pump on, water's just pouring out everywhere. This whole area is just soaked. It was probably about a gallon of water. Could have been worse, but could have also been avoided. No idea what's causing that to leak. Hey, this one has an inspection sticker on it. The other one doesn't. actually has a sticker on it. That's probably what's wrong with the last one is that it was never inspected. So look, let me show you. See where it says past? Yeah, 
And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm also going to, while I have it disconnected, a shutoff valve just for the water heater. how much you use your your left hand until you break something or crack something That backside. Theater in the round. That's the kind of trunk space you want in a late model car. I put that top on it. Even though it says 0% chance of rain for the next week or so, we had 0% chance of rain a couple days ago and it poured for like two hours. Okay, turn the pump back on. Seeing any leaks. Turn propane on. Propane and propane accessories. The big question is, is it gonna turn on? Let's see if this works, shall we? Turn the power on. Get water rolling through the system. Switch is on. Let's see what we get. showing it. 
showing 13. Is it lit? No? Let me try a brand new tank of propane and see if that does it. Be right back. Let me verify this here. That lit just fine. That's good heat going out of that. Nothing. Son of a bitch. Showing red light. Showing it's on. Should be clicking. It's clicking. It's not feeding fuel. And I know the line works because I just tested it. So, I think I might have found what was wrong with the water heater. Out of all that I worked through, trying to figure it out, I went through the propane, I disconnected it, I checked everything, couldn't figure out what in the hell could not let that thing start up. Let me show you what I did. So, let me move this down so you can see what I'm talking about here. I disconnected all the electrodes, everything. I checked the uh, batteries. The batteries, the brand new batteries I just put in this one, out of the package I checked were a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.2. So it would click, click, and that was it. So I went and got another pack of brand new D batteries, checked them. Those were reading um, 1.6. That's normal for the batteries. Grab them up, put them in click click nothing so I decided well what the hell pulled the batteries back out test them 0 0.2 I grabbed up the other batteries and put them back in there so new batteries tested 1.6 let's try this out shall we and I'll turn the light off so you can see what I'm talking about it lit can you believe it? It was the batteries. But 
the other the other uh, this other one here was pouring water out of it as you saw before. So at least that works. So yay, fix that part. <laughs>